Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Vortex Mal here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D text for your Fortnite montages. So firstly I'm going to drag this clip which I took a while ago in replay mode and drop it in here. And then what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to click on effects and presets, and then I'm going to type in 3D camera tracker. I'm going to get this and drag and drop it onto this clip here. It's going to analyze the background and create points where I can put the text. Alright, so now it's finished analyzing this shot and we've got these points here. And so if you hover over these points, targets should appear. Alright, so I'm going to scroll over to about where I want the text to be. Um, I'm going to just click on this point here because you can just move the text afterwards, but this is like a good starting position for the text. So I'm going to right click on that, then create solid and camera. This then leaves me with the track solid, which pretty much just is 3D camera tracked in. And then what I'm going to do is click on this eye thing here just to hide it. And then the next step is going to the text tool, clicking here and just typing in whatever you want. So I'm going to type in Mal. I'm using the lazy, the lazy Sunday font, which I think I downloaded from like the font. Um, I think it looks really clean here. And then what I'm going to do is click the eye on Mal as well to hide that because we don't need those two. And then I'm going to right click, click new, and then go to solid. I'm going to title this E3D Mal. Click OK. So this is going to be our 3D um, text layer. So what we're going to do is go to effects and presets again. And this time we're going to type in element. And then we're going to drag and drop that onto this black layer here. And then what you want to do is go to custom layers, custom text and masks, and go to where it says none on path layer one, and then select your text. And then click on this scene setup button, which brings you into like a new screen where you can click extrude to see your text and just like hold left click and drag your mouse around to like move around it in 3D space. And then because I want this text to go backwards a bit, um, I'm going to go to transform then I'm going to click on the, uh, the padlock and just unlock it. I'm going to drag this just to give it a bit more depth. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go to the physical tab. And I'm going to use this chrome one and just drag and drop this on here. So that makes it look all reflective and stuff. But we've got a strange um, just like black and white environment here, which just kind of doesn't really fit if we were to put it into the composition. So what I'm going to do is click on this environment button up here and I'm going to click on this drop down here. Uh, load from file and I've got a file which I have the link for the download of this in the description as well. Um, and I'm just going to go and click on that and open it up here. Um, so yeah, if I click OK, now when I rotate around this text it kind of reflects this uh, nice orangey colour which I get from this environment picture here. So that's pretty much it for this um, screen, so I'm just going to click OK. And now to actually make it appear where I want it to be, I'm going to go onto Track Solid, and then I'm going to click P on my keyboard to bring up the positioning. And then I'm going to go to the Element 3D layer, and I'm going to open up Group 1 Particle Replicator, which gives me the positioning here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it across, so just Control c Control v for each point. So first one goes to first, second to second, third to third. And now it's in the point where this um, track solid would have been, uh, which isn't exactly where I want it to be. So I'm now just going to adjust it by firstly going to particle look, particle size, and just making it a bit bigger as well so you can actually see it properly. And then I'm going to just use these um, and just slide along these, um, the positioning until it's where I want it to be. You can also change the rotation by just opening up the rotation tab and just turning it. Okay, so now I've got it positioned exactly where I want it. So if I play through this, now it stays exactly in place and just looks really clean. So the next step um, to get like glows and like rays behind it is to go just into this blank space, right click, new, solid again. I'm just going to call this E3D2. Um, so you get this other black layer. I'm just going to put it underneath this uh, 3D text layer. And then I'm going to go to the first layer. 
control C just to copy across this um, element effect. So here I just have a duplicate of the text, but this one's behind it. So anything I add to this won't affect the front of the original text. So I'm going to go to effects and presets. I'm going to type in S underscore glow. I'm going to drag and drop this on the, um, on the second one which kind of creates this glow around it without just affecting the front of it. I'm going to increase the width a bit. And then I'm also going to add some S underscore rays. And then change the position of these. And now if I change the ray brightness as well as the length, It gives me these like clean light rays kind of going through the text almost. Okay, so now that we've got these glows on the text, I'm going to go to this um, original layer and I'm going to go to the effects and presets tab again and type in BCC Lens Blur OBS. Uh, so I'm going to drag and drop this one over it. Then I'm going to change this iris scale down a bit, which kind of just decreases the blur. Um, I'll probably leave it on like five maybe, maybe four. And then I'm also gonna increase the gamma here. So now if I play this through, it kind of gives, gives a depth of field effect as well. So now what I'm gonna do is highlight all of this, right click on it and pre-compose, which pretty much just makes it all into one layer, but you can edit it later as well. So I'm gonna type 3D text test and I'm going to click OK. Uh, also make sure that you have move all attributes into the new composition, this one here checked and then I'm going to click OK. So now this means it's all just in one layer and I can just find the bits that I want from this. So for instance from here to around here Now if I play this through, I only get the bits that I want. Okay, so now to just finish up, I'm going to uh, turn off the sound firstly because like you don't need audio with this layer in case you have any background noise. And I'm going to go, then I'm going to go to new and then adjustment layer, put that over the top and I'm going to put on transform. here. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that I can have some like pan crop. So I'm just going to leave the scale at 105 and then at the start I'm going to rotate it the most I possibly can. I'm also going to have black bars here anyway so like the top and the bottom of the screen can have a bit of this and you won't actually notice it in the final product. So I'm just going to click this stopwatch for the rotation at the start. Then, as it was minus 6 at the start, I'm going to put it to positive 6. Um, and so, as you see here, it kind of all rotates, which is just quite a nice effect to have. Um, and then I'm also going to go to new, solid. Then I'm going to have these cinematic black bars here. So, what I'm going to do is go to the effects and presets panel, type in CC Jaws, drag and drop this onto this layer. And then I'm going to put the completion to around 80% and then the height to zero. And now we have these black bars. So that's the end of this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if this helped you or if you want me to make any other tutorials on anything else. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.